Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to use time function inside of Excel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to insert scroll bar in Excel. Okay? A scroll bar in Excel is just like the one you have seen at many places while using a computer system. This is a thing bar many display in most of computer applications to move the view the view area of the computer applications left and right then up and down okay based on the direction of movement the scroll bar is of two type okay we have the horizontal scroll bar that moves from left to right we also have the vertical scroll bar that moves hops and down now how to insert scroll bar to create the scroll bar in a z firstly you need to enable the developer tab visible on the ribbon okay right there so you can get to the vba and the active x control command and to to get the developer tab follow this step okay click on the file right up here the file option here to bring up the excel option dialog box then scroll down to the wall to the option okay option option right here and click on it okay now when you get to this place then click on the customize ribbon okay then select the developer tab check book right here in my own case i have done that so i don't need to check it so i have done that now click the click on ok then now navigate to the excel ribbon at the top here then select the developer tab okay then navigate to the word insert option right here click on it okay then click on the scroll back control right here to insert the new list box in the excel worksheet okay after that draw a rectangle in this excel worksheet to insert and a scroll bar you can see right here okay you can see okay if you would like to move the rectangle the rectangle spread more horizontally then the horizontal scroll bar control will be inserted in the excel if you like to move the rectangle spread more vertically then you can do that by creating well, the vertical the scroll bar with uh, vertical scroll bar will be inserted in the excel okay now setting up scroll bar for a data set here we need to understand a few properties of scroll bar okay after inserting the scroll bar based on the explanation i made earlier okay just right click okay just right click on the scroll bar and select format control option okay this will open a dialog box okay let me shift it down here this open the dialog box and in the dialog box here here are the following options available okay how we explain each and every one of them to read your understanding okay the current value this scroll bar is always has a numeric value associated associated with it the current value fee defines the current value of the scroll bar basically it will define the current position of the scroll bar okay the minimum value here this defines the minimum position value of the scroll bar and the maximum value right here this define the maximum value position of the scroll bar the current value we always lies between the minimum value and the maximum value okay here the, the incremental change this define the number of values to be changed 
in one click movement of the scroll bar if this is set to one if you click down arrow okay if you click down arrow from the scroll bar hmm, of the scroll bar its current value will increase just by one okay page change okay this provide the amount in page change that the value increases or decreases and the degree of, of which the scroll bar moves let us take an example in, in a scroll bar which has a minimum of zero minimum value of zero and the maximum value of 10. if the user put two in the current page okay property the value of the scroll bar okay we increase or decrease by two okay here the cell name this values will contain the same name okay name which will hold the current value of the scroll bar you will use this value in order formulas to respond to the position of the scroll bar because because of the value in this cell now we it will automatically get updated whenever you you move the scroll bar now let's now delve it on how to use the scroll bar itself in other words we have seen how to how to insert the scroll bar right here and set and set up uh, its parameters now we will create a simple scroll bar here from a larger data set let's just take an example of this of a simple data set of 22 alphabet right up here that i have created on this table okay if you create the above data set in an excel sheet it will consume 23 rows okay one for heading right here and the 22 uh, for each of the alphabet but with the help of scroll bar okay with the help of scroll bar okay we uh, scroll bar now we will try to adjust the above data set into fewer rows and to do to do so just follow this step okay create a new data tip just like the one i the one uh, i display here okay with a scroll bar just uh, uh, with a scroll bar okay okay now the next thing that just click on the excel ribbon right up here you can see excel ribbon at the open uh, and select the developer tab then click on the insert button then click on the scroll bar control to insert the new list scroll bar in the z worksheet near the wall there the newly formatted newly formatted table okay good okay good mm -hmm. okay now right click on the scroll bar okay and select the format control option then fill in the 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 following data for the for the, uh, for the scroll bar parameters okay in the current value just leave it at zero in the minimum value put it at zero then in the maximum value let's use 16 okay let's use 16 okay then incremental change leave it at one then the page chain let's put it at two okay good okay in the same link okay in the same link right up here in the same link so let's pick any empty cell so i'm going to pick the cell j1 okay good okay i'm going to pick it and click on what okay button good now in the cell e2 okay in the cell e2 type the following formula okay just type or let me type it in the the formula bar right up here just put it in equal to offset okay 
bracket since I'm in the cell B2, so I'm going to type B2, okay, Long. okay, J, okay, then, one, mark one, then, close a bracket and hit on both enter button for the serial number okay okay in the so in the cell f2 you can likewise do the same let me just copy this then i'll change change the parameters right there okay oh okay let's first do the first parameter here then drag it to the down okay that's good so this will make the value of the say to be updated you can see it right up here okay good now in the i can likewise do the same in the alphabet uh, option here so by typing the equal to let me do that in the offset okay offset bracket since i'm the alphabet in the cell c2 so i'm going to type c2 then j okay now one command zero and close the word from put on sorry let me see it offset c2 we do not want okay c2 okay sorry so come on here and press on enter so if i drag it down so you can really get all this so now this will make the value in the cell updated each time you move the screw bar you can see let's move the screw bar you can see that all the values here will be updated inside this what this little table i created with, with the use of the the screw bar you can see you can see you can see so that is it Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll give giving you more of the reserve option. Bye.